all right all right gemini let's not do anything too hasty okay and i realize who i'm saying that to yes i know but just think about this for a moment we have the ten of pentacles this is something long-standing this is something that you know we commit to we might have been at a job for a while this could be the family um it doesn't always i mean for me this is a legacy card it's something that we intend for it to stand the test of time, for it to be there a long time. It's commitment, right? So this can be getting married. I see it as one of the marriage cards too, but only because we, whenever anyone gets married, they don't see themselves, well, apart if you, I guess if you're a gold digger or something, but most people when they get married, they, they want to be with that person for the rest of their lives, right? So it's that kind of energy or a, a job that you join and you think, I'm going to be here till the day I retire. This is what I want to do. Now, it's underlying energy. So it might be that you're thinking about, well, what the hell's my long term? What am I doing? You know, very kind of deep, kind of adult. I did not saying you guys aren't adults, but do you know what I mean? I have problems like that sometimes. I live very much in the moment. I'm more the Knight of Wands, you know, because I have a Sagittarius rising as well. So I'm very much this kind of energy, which is living in the moment. What am I getting out of the experience right now? But this isn't, this is thinking long term. You know, shall we build that house and our kids and our grandkids can have them? I mean, you haven't even given birth to your kids yet, but you're thinking that far ahead. That's Ten of Pentacles. So that's the underlying energy. There might be something going on that's forcing you to think that long term, or what you're committing to. Now, what's at the heart of the reading? We have the Knight of Wands here. Some of you might be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but I kind of get the sense this is like two opposing energies, guys. Remember, I said this, the Knight of Wands is always, maybe you're trying to get someone to commit, or maybe you want this and someone's trying to get you to commit. It's general, right? It can go both ways. But the Knight of Wands isn't about the long term. The Knight of Wands is what's fun right now. What new adventure can I go on? I mean, have a look in the background. There's the pyramids there, right? So this is this is the traveller. This is the explorer. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go check it out. What's happening? And, you know, he can be seen as unreliable, but I don't know if he is. He lives in the moment. He's If he's not getting anything out of the experience, he's going to go find something else. I wish more of us lived that way, right? But there's opposing energies here because this if someone wants this then they won't be able to do that i mean this kind of a person if you tell them hey let's settle down and let's do i mean you still could i think you could make both work i'm a very committed person i've put videos up every week and you know i have a routine and i do things so you don't have to be i think do what you love love what you do if you focus on it, if you find a reason for why you're doing it but and get something out of the experience then you can have this energy and build something solid long term you can do that but it's whether you can or not or the person that you're dealing with if they can or not but yeah i mean the knight of wands is going to be he's going he's going to i don't know how on board he'd be with this whole let's work let's do something long term or maybe that's how you've always been the knight of swords and now you're doing this but i don't know we have the six of cups let's carry on right we have the six of cups coming up as a past energy and the past energy it, this is the past. The Six of Cups is the past. So this can be the, you know, um, last week, last month, last year. It's the foundation. Why are we where we are right now? Someone's been looking back. Someone might be looking back at their childhood or looking back at happier times or thinking that, you know, my happy days are gone now. I kind of almost get the sense here, and I hope this isn't the case, but, you know, we all do it, where you're looking back at, I mean, someone could be having a midlife crisis here. Let's just straight up say that, right? In that they've had the family, they've done the solid thing, you know, had the kids and stuff. Been looking back at the younger days when they were the Knight of Wands. And they want to recapture that. They want to recapture that. That's just how it can play out, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to say. He looks for fun and fun comes in whatever form you want it to be. Different people find different things fun, right? Go travelling around the world, go backpacking, go bloody ride a hog across America or something or um I don't know one night stands whatever whatever people find fun but it, that's what's coming up that's that kind of energy that's coming up now if you're not having a midlife crisis um it may be that you know that you've had lived this kind of I think this is what I'd be honest right mostly I'm getting this is the desire this is the focus to be more fun to go on an adventure is more that because whatever's the, at the heart of the reading, that's the focus. But then the underlying energy is what the current is. So maybe you're being forced to do this. And you're being forced to be in some kind of, you know, if you want that job. And you do, it's not that you don't want to give up your job. But you've been working so hard that you want to break, you know. I want to go do something else. 
or you're just thinking right now that I can't keep living my life like this, that I need to put some roots down, I need to do something, I need to build something permanent. And you might be thinking back to a past lover, a past situation, you know, when you were younger, maybe your parents, like when you were kids, what life was like then. You know, my dad had a great job, I want a job like my dad did, or they had a great marriage, or they didn't have a great marriage, but I want to do something different. Do you see what I mean? Nostalgia's looking back. It's usually happy memories, though, that, that you look back at. And sometimes when we look back, at, at, and you, it feels like you've been going through this because the past card is coming in the past. Um, so this is what you've been doing, like nostalgia looking back. Now, sometimes we can get stuck in that and think, well, happy days are gone, you know. I'm not going to have any more happy days. That's not the truth. Six of Cups says, it's one of those cards that you can actually use the past, those happy memories of the past, to propel you forward, to, you know, use them to manifest the future, to have those happy memories in the future now, new happy memories that you create. I will also say this, that with the Six of Cups, it's we can wear rose-tinted glasses when it comes up. We remember things just a little bit kind of fuzzier and sweeter than they actually were. So what does that lead on to? What is it? Some kind of death or transformation that's gone on in your life. Death is the removal of things. You know, death of the old, birth of the new. That's the death card. Some of you might be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius here, but you know, the signs don't own the cards. Something has happened. I kind of get, I don't know, you know, I'll just say this. The death card doesn't indicate death, just to be clear, before I say give this example. But you know when something happens in your life where, I don't know, somebody gets really seriously ill. Or, I'm, and that's not, I'm not saying this is your reading, guys. I'm trying to give an example of what makes us go through death, right? Um, I remember my mum, like when her father passed away, she, since then she's um she doesn't like possessions because she had to go and clear out her dad's flat after he um after he passed away and so she doesn't like it she now she if you on birthdays and stuff she's a nightmare to buy for because she doesn't want things she doesn't want things because it's in her head that my kids are going to have to clear this out after i've gone do you see what i mean so one thing like that it can change it can change what you do or somebody that you know they get really in they were really healthy and they got ill and they'll be okay but they're not working now you're thinking wow you know this that whole life is too short i'm getting the sense that someone's going through this life is too short thing looking back and thinking well i used to be happy then what have i been doing with my life either having too much fun or being too serious or you know you're trying to combine the two but something has changed something has changed you you have been transformed the way you're thinking has been transformed so death is there right but that's the birth. It's, I mean, it's not the death cards. I'm sorry I gave an example of death. But I was just trying to say, the, the, you know, when something serious happens in your life. And it, or to other people, you hear about it, right? And you think, wow, you know, life is too short. It's that kind of a feeling. Or it changes the way you do things. That, you know, I want to go out and have more fun. Or I want to go do whatever. So with death there, there, there is transformation that changes. That's not going to be a surprise to you. Death is slow. It rolls through your life slowly. So, you know, when it comes up, we're very aware of it. It's not the tower. It's not the tower. So what happens with this change? What happens after this transformation? Well, we have the Five of Swords coming up. And now this is a projection into the future. Now, Five of Swords, that is a very ruthless energy. That's doing whatever it takes to get what you want. Yeah, exactly. I haven't pulled... I don't think I've pulled clarifiers for anyone, but I'm going to for you guys. Because there's, there's a kind of undercurrent here that something's been shaken loose something's been shaken loose but it's the whole running the whole gamut from this what's going to happen after i've you know later on in my life or what what's my legacy is this all there is and to this that i'm too young i need to don't to settle down i still want adventures i still want whatever but to get to the five of swords out of this mm -mm, something else is going on let's find out why is the five of swords in the future all right yeah all right it makes sense guys so we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is conflict. Whatever it is you're deciding that you've let go of, and it, it might come as a complete shock to people around you. Because it feels like you've transformed, you want something different now. The people that were settled down and stuff, they want fun. The people that were off, you know, all about the fun, they want to settle down. There's this very soul searching that's been going on. Think about it. Someone's been thinking about the past. Now this bloody death rolled through their life, like as in rebirth, re they're being reborn as someone new. And it's not judgment. It's kind of slower than that. But they might have like given up that job. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be in, I don't want to live in that part of town. I don't want to live in that kind of a house. I don't want to dress like this. It's all that kind of stuff. There's a shift. That's a change. It doesn't matter if you're 20, 40, 60. 
You know, it's that kind of energy at any time we can go through this. Now, how do we go forward? Well, five swords, so there may be resistance. And it can happens, guys, trust me. I've been noticing this a lot for myself recently. And I've been happier, but it's almost as if, if you're happier, then it's like the people that are not so happy kind of feel judged all of a sudden, right? How dare you be happy? How dare you have purpose? So there's that kind of energy. So yeah, people could be resistant to the change and that makes sense, especially if it's family or friends because you've just changed the rules of the game. They're used to that dance that they did with you. Now you've changed it up. You've changed the steps. So, you know, it, there's a victory here, like you get what you want, but it may cost you. The change may cost you, but I don't think you'll care. Anyone that goes for death, I don't think they will give a shit about it. Why? Because look at the card that explained it. This is someone who wants to be independent. Independent, confident, do what they want. doesn't mean you don't want your family, because think about it, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. But you want to be able to build what you've built, right? But you don't want it to become a gilded cage. That's what I'm getting. It is both. It is both. That you want this... It's how to combine the two. Because think about it. If you've made lots of money and you've got the great house, you don't want to just suddenly become a backpacker and go live in hostels and stuff. Do you know what I mean? You want to be able to enjoy what you've created. That's what this is. But you don't want it to become a cage for you, a gilded cage. And then even if you're at partying and stuff and you now want stability, yeah, you're willing to work and be independent and do all of that kind of stuff to earn whatever it is that you're trying to earn. But you don't want to be get stuck in it. It's, you want the best of both worlds. And why not? I don't have a problem with that. But um, it's going to cost you something. I'll say that. I'll say that. And that, I've just kind of done it loosely. But you can apply this to anything, guys. You can apply this to anything. You know, if that's commitment and that's kind of fun loving, let's go for the adventure kind of thing. That's a relationship, right? Maybe you've always gone for the serious types long term that you think are they marriage prospects. And now you're like... Well, you know, I could just go out dating and have a laugh with people and meet different kinds of people and have fun. But it's a, it's about not, you don't want to feel penned in. But it, you know, the five of swords, and maybe that's why you don't fully go with the change. That's why you've been doing this soul searching. Because you know that the future is a projection. It's a projection. But guys, look what the advice is. It's reminding you, but you're stuck now. Right now you're stuck. And you want this ace of cups. You want a new, you want a new shot at happiness. Because whichever way you look at it at the moment, you're not happy. You know, you're kind of mulling things over, trying to shift things. Things have been going. There's room in your life now. You've been making space for new new experiences. You're making room for not even new possessions or whatever, new experiences. Because the what the options that you have, they don't thrill you. You're just nonplussed. You want this cup. So that's what the Seven of Swords asks you. It asks you, what is it worth to you? How much do you want to go for this? You know, and it can be one of those very difficult energies. It can be where someone's being very ruthless, very selfish. And get, I guess someone in, not in their light would do that. Now, some of you might be dealing with someone like this. It's general reading, right? But yeah, you know, you could be willing to do whatever it takes to get what you want. But it depends on what it means to you. But I don't see that. I see it more as you weighing up the cost that, you know, if I want to do this, that you, I don't know, that you love your friends, you love your friends dearly. But you don't want to go out partying every Friday night now. Because you might want to do a course on Saturday. So you have to wake up earlier. That's going to affect your friendship, right? It's going to cost you something. Or the opposite. All of your friends are like the boring kind of golfing type, right? And now you're like, well, I don't really want to do that anymore. Let's go do something else. So however it applies to you guys. But I don't see it as because th this is about freeing yourself. You might be stuck in a gilded cage, some of you. Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. And that might be the advice going forward here. Do you know what I mean? That might be the... Because think about it. Yes, you've got the cups in the past. And then the four of cups here is the advice. But everything else, if you get so caught up and you go so quickly, as I was saying, be very careful what you do. Just think about it for a moment. If, I think if you do it from a loving space and say, you know, I feel like this or I'm feeling trapped or I just want to change things. I need a different experience. Let's, can we do something? Can we spice things up a little bit? If you do it from that place, then it could work. Because that's the issue here with the Five of Swords is when, you know when you're done and you take some action and you don't really consider them. And I'm not saying you should. You shouldn't have to consider other people's needs, but it's a fact of life. If we're in families, if we're in relationships, you know, friends and stuff, what we do does affect them. And that's the Five of Swords is telling you, what are you willing for it to cost you? If you don't give a shit, then do what you want, right? If you're not, if you're happy to kind of go off on your own, then do what you want. That's your choice. But I think the advice here is 
you know, express love, do it in a loving way that, you know, explain, it's not about you guys. That I've had, to, I've had so many of those conversations recently. And, you know, people might look at you because it was, you do, you've done the soul searching. And they might think this is a bit hasty, this, that you've come up with this. Yeah, it's not hasty. Even death, this change has been going, rolling through for a while now. You're not just coming up with this, you know, on the fly and thinking, oh yeah, this would be on, on a whim. You're not doing it on a whim. But it's it's the expression of it with the five of swords. That's where the sticky point is, and that's that's the only thing I'm saying. Like, be careful before you kind of go forward. Just think about it. If you don't care, like I said, then do what you want. Right? More power to you. All right. Oh gosh, Gemini's. Look what you guys got, dear you. Sometimes you just feel like no one understands you. You're not heard, or even that you don't count. This, my dear, is a terrible illusion. Did you guys get this last time? I know someone did. Um, and although your feelings tell you that abandonment is real, well, we who love you know better. You are never alone. And even when rejection happens, you are ultimately being protected so better things can replace what wouldn't have worked in the first place. Everyone on this side of the veil is watching over you and rooting for your ultimate success. Life loves you. We love you. And you are a unique spark of the divine and always connect to the light and to source. You are always in our care. Trust and keep the faith. Love you always and forever. And you know, that's probably what it is. It's not that you, you're not considerate or doing whatever. It's because you've been trapped so long going through whatever this situation is. And it's not fully, because it, it's going to play out differently for everyone. So it's not fully giving in. I think the main thing is the kind of difference between the two. And the change, the massive change. That's the only major arcana energy here and wanting to be independent, be calm. And you know, independence doesn't mean doesn't mean that you're not in a relationship or you're not involved with friends or people it just means you want something for yourself right and everyone should have something for themselves that's not that's not the thing but maybe you felt so alone or you know the good times in the past where you connected to people that you kind of take the action you don't realize you don't even realize that this is hurting someone else because it's just about the experience you're so eager to start the journey this very interesting reading Gem uh, gemini very interesting i really liked it for you